Are you still on that couch? Maybe even some clothes or that old bike online? Well, you might have to pay taxes on it because of some new rules from the Biden Harris administration. In fact, millions of Americans could face a tax dilemma this season because of a provision in the American Rescue Plan that drastically lowered the threshold for reporting third party payments across platforms like Venmo, Apple Pay and PayPal. And joining us now to discuss this is Executive Vice President of the National Taxpayers Union, Brandon Arnold. Good morning to you, sir. Thanks for joining us. Wow. Welcome back. Um, you know, Brandon, this is alarming because this obviously can impact gig workers and some of those folks who are, you know, on Etsy or selling things online and could be unintentionally breaking this new IRS rule. So what are those new rules and who does this affect? Yeah, this is literally going to affect millions of Americans. The IRS is saying that they expect 44 million forms to go out to people, many of whom won't be expecting it. Because yes, it will be those small businesses that are using platforms like Etsy or eBay to make sales, but it will also be with people that are using Venmo, PayPal, Apple Pay, even things like StubHub or Ticketmaster to sell tickets to unwanted concerts or, or, uh, or sporting events that they can no longer attend. If you're using these platforms, you could potentially be getting 1099K forms from those entities who are also, by the way, sending those same forms to the IRS. So the IRS will be aware of these transactions, which may or may not, in many instances, be taxable events. Yeah, and could trigger an audit if, if they're also reporting this to the IRS as well. So that is the biggest problem because there are millions of Americans, as you mentioned, who are going to receive these 1099 forms and not realize they're exempt from certain rules, which could further complicate the issue because these aren't people who are running a business. What are the exemptions? Yeah, I mean, this is a slow moving train wreck here because so many people are going to get these forms and they don't realize what it actually means when you get these forms. Just because you did enough business to hit those transactions doesn't mean these are taxable events. For instance, if you find a bunch of comic books in your basement, sell those off, you only are liable for taxes if you have sold those at a profit. So if you sold those at a loss or if you just broke even, you probably aren't liable for taxes. Uh, but you are already liable for taxes anyway. What this IRS rule does is create a nightmare uh, of paperwork, additional paperwork with the IRS, the supersized IRS that we've been complaining about for years now, going after more people, requiring more paperwork, more headaches, and more confusion. It also comes at a time when we're facing this crushing inflation. Why is the Biden-Harris administration going after these small funds that these hardworking Americans desperately need? And what about this promise not to raise taxes on Americans making less than $400,000 a year? How will this disproportionately impact small businesses and those perhaps who rely on smaller supplemental income sources? Yeah, well, well, it certainly doesn't uh, raise taxes in the traditional sense. What it does is tighten the screws on small business people, on individuals who are just using these platforms for, for casual uh, uh, transactions yeah. and so forth. Uh, so does it go after people? Yeah, absolutely. You know, again, it's tightening the screws on businesses that are already dealing with so many other difficulties right now when it comes to higher energy costs, higher labor costs, and so forth. Now they have additional paperwork burdens and large businesses are well equipped. They have big accounting teams and tax attorneys and so forth. But those small businesses that are barely scraping by, this is another head headache that they're going to have to deal with. What's Congress doing to fix this problem? What's the solution here, Brandon? Yeah, Carol Miller, a congresswoman out of West Virginia, she introduced legislation that will fix this problem. It's made it through the House Ways and Means Committee. It needs to make it to the president's desk immediately because this new reporting requirement will kick in at the beginning of January, so just a couple months away, Congress can and should fix this immediately. Executive Vice President of the National Taxpayers Union, Brandon Arnold, thanks for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Have a good one. Thanks, Jan.